Let us now take the third model from ages where the question is based on the ratio of the ages of two persons. Let us look at the example. Ranjan's and Anurag's ages are in the ratio 4 is to 5. Four years hence, their age ratio will become 5 is to 6. What is Anurag's present age? So as we can see here, we have got two ratios. One is 4 is to 5 and the other one is 5 is to 6. 4 is to 5 is the ratio of their present ages and 5 is to 6 is the ratio of their ages 4 years hence. And from these two ratios, we are supposed to find out Anurag's present age. Let us assume that Ranjan's present age is R and Anurag's present age is A. Now as given in the statement 1, Ranjan and Anurag's ages are in the ratio 4 is to 5. So we can say that R is to A is equal to 4 is to 5 or R by A is equals to 4 by 5. That means Ranjan's age is 4 parts, Anurag's age will be 5 parts. Or otherwise we can take it as R is equals to 4x, that is nothing but 4 parts and A is equals to 5x. Now the second statement here is 4 years hence their age ratio will be 5 is to 6. If Ranjan's present age is R, his age 4 years hence, that is after 4 years will be R plus 4. Similarly, Anurag's age after 4 years will be A plus 4. So we can say that R plus 4 by A plus 4 is equals to 5 is to 6 or 5 by 6. Now let us substitute R equals to 4x and A equals to 5x in the second equation. So we can get 4x plus 4 by Anurag's age is 5x plus 4 equals to 5 by 6. Now by simplifying this with the help of cross multiplication we get 6 into 4x 24x plus 6 fours 24 is equal to 5 into 5 25x plus 4 into 5 is 20. So from this we can say 25x minus 24x x will be equal to 24 minus 20 which is 4. So x is equals to 4 and we have to find out Anurag's present age. We know that Anurag's present age is 5x. So Anurag's present age 5x can be taken as 5 into 4 that is 20 years. So we can say that option 1 20 years is the correct answer. Friends, this is the conventional way of solving the problem where we are writing down the two ratios and solving the equations to get the answer. But again, if you try to be smart and eliminate the wrong options, we can get the answers in a much faster way. Let us see how to do that. From the first statement, we know that Ranjan's and Anurag's ages are in the ratio of 4 is to 5. Now very clearly, Anurag's present age should be a multiple of 5 as it is equal to 5 parts it should be some multiple of 5 and we have to find out Anurag's present age. That means in the given options, the answers are with respect to Anurag's present age. So let us eliminate those options which are not the multiples of 5. If you look at option number 1, 20 is a multiple of 5. So this can be the correct answer. Option 2 is 16 years. We know that Anurag's present age should be a multiple of 5 and 16 is not a multiple of 5. So this gets eliminated. Option 3 is 24, which again is not a multiple of 5. So even this option gets eliminated. And we know that data is sufficient to answer the question. So even option 4 is wrong. So the only possible answers are either option 1 or option 5, none of these. Now, we know that Anurag's present age here can be 20 years. So let us assume that option number 1 is correct. That is Anurag's present age is 20 years. Now, if Anurag's present age is 20 years, 4 years hence, his age will be 20 plus 4, 24 years. So, after 4 years, his age will be 20 plus 4, 24 years. Now, if you look at the ratio, 4 years hence, their age ratio will become 5 is to 6. That means, after 4 years, Anurag's age should be a multiple of 6. And 24 here, that is nothing but Anurag's age after 4 years, is a multiple of 6. So this option satisfies both the conditions. What are the two conditions? The first condition is its present age should be a multiple of 5 and after 4 years the age should be a multiple of 6. As these options satisfies both the conditions we can directly say that option number 1 is correct.
So this is how without writing all these steps, we can simply eliminate the wrong answers and verify the correct option from the two given conditions. Let us now discuss another example based on the model that we have just discussed. The question here is present ages of Amit and his father are in the ratio 2 is to 5 respectively. 4 years hence the ratio of their ages will become 5 is to 11 respectively. What was father's age 5 years ago? So as you can see here we have got two ratios. One is the present ages ratio of, his, of Amit and his father and the second one is the ratio of Amit and his father's age 4 years hence and we are supposed to find out father's age 5 years ago. As we have discussed in the earlier example, let us avoid writing all the steps and try to solve this question directly by eliminating the wrong options. Let us see how to do that. The question here is what was father's age 5 years ago? So we are supposed to find out what is father's age 5 years ago. Let us look at the options one by one and understand what can be the correct answer. If you assume that option number one is correct, it means father's age five years ago was 40. So father's present age should be 40 plus 5 that is equal to 45. We know that present ages of Amit and his father are in the ratio of 2 is to 5. So very clearly father's present age should be a multiple of 5 as the ratio is 2 is to 5 and as you can see here father's present age here that is 45 is a multiple of 5. So this satisfies the first condition. Now moving on to the second condition. We know that 4 years hence ratio of their ages will become 5 is to 11 respectively. That means after 4 years father's age should be a multiple of 11. Now, if father's present age is 45, after 4 years his age will be f plus 4, that is 49. And 49 is not a multiple of 11. So, very clearly option 1 cannot be the answer. Let us now look at option number 2. Again in option number 2, father's age 5 years ago is given as 45. So, father's present age can be taken as 45 plus 5 which is equal to 50 years. And 50 is a multiple of 5. Because we know that present age should be a multiple of 5. So present age here is a multiple of 5. So now we can proceed for the second condition. As per the second condition, 4 years hence, father's age should be a multiple of 11. So if we take after 4 years, father's age will be f plus 4. That is 54 years. And 54 is not a multiple of 11. So very clearly, even option 2 is wrong. Let us now take the third option. That means father's age 5 years ago was 30. So father's present age can be taken as 30 plus 5, 35. And 35 is a multiple of 5. So the first condition is satisfied. The second condition says 4 years hence, that is f plus 4, the father's age should be a multiple of 11. And here we find that after 4 years, father's age is 39, which again is not a multiple of 11. So even option number 3 gets cancelled. Now, the fourth option here is 35 years. That means father's age 5 years ago was 35. So father's present age can be taken as 35 plus 5 which is 40. And 40 is a multiple of 5. So this satisfies the first condition. Let us now take the second condition. Father's age 4 years hence will be 40 plus 4 that is 44 years. From the given question we know that 4 years hence father's age should be a multiple of 11 and 44 here is a multiple of 11. So very clearly this option satisfies both the conditions. The first condition that is present age should be a multiple of 5 and second condition that is 4 years hence the age should be a multiple of 11. So this can be taken as a correct answer. So friends this is how you can work in a smart way and eliminate the wrong answers to find out the correct one. So avoid wasting your time by writing down all the steps and simply verify from the given options.